Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be continuing with Unit 1 on rivers and looking at Part 7, the Holstrom Curve. What is the Holstrom Curve? It's basically a diagram that shows the relationship between the velocity of a river and the size of the particles that are either going to be eroded, transported and deposited. So now we're going to look at how to draw the Holstrom Curve. As you can see on screen now, it's basically a box set structure that has a pair of axes and it also displays the type of pebbles that are going to be located inside the river. So on the x-axis we have the particle size in millimetres and on the y-axis the average velocity. What I would like you to do now is pause the video and copy down this graph in case you do not have it so that we can be ready to start explaining it. Now it's divided up into three areas and the first of these three is called the transport zone. This is the area that is located under the entrainment velocity, the blue curve, and above the fall velocity, the yellow curve. Now entrainment velocity is the velocity needed to pick up the river's particles completely. And the yellow line is the fall velocity, which is the velocity needed to deposit the river's particles. This means that between these two zones, we have the transport zone, which is basically moving along the particles down the river. Next up, we have the deposition zone. And this is the zone need pretty much where all the particles are needed to be deposited and left to one side in the river. So if the velocity is below the full velocity, this means that the particles are then becoming stationary and they're just going to be left at one point in the river where there isn't enough energy to then move them along. So they're not being transported and they're not being eroded. Therefore, they're just deposited somewhere and they're not going to be touched. The last zone is the erosion zone, and this is located above the entrainment velocity. So, at this point, the river has so much energy that its particles can be picked up and they can begin to erode. So you may be thinking, why is it that these curves change shape depending on where they are on the graph? Now that's because up top we have all the different types of particles. Clay, silt, sand, gravel and pebbles and boulders. Now some of these require more energy and less energy to be eroded, transported or deposited with. So we can clearly see that silt and sand do not need much energy at all to then be eroded with, and pebbles and boulders are the ones that require the most energy to be picked up. So now we're going to explain why entrainment velocities may differ. The definition of an entrainment velocity is the velocity needed to pick up the river's load. Now generally, the smaller the particles are going to be, the easier they are to pick up because you don't need as much energy to then pick them up. This is except for clays though because clays are an exception. They have bonds which make them stick together. So unlike sand, they're much harder to then erode even though they are smaller than sand particles. So that means when energy decreases downstream, they reach the full velocity where there is insufficient energy to carry them on and they will be deposited. The full velocity is standard. It's more um, common with all of them. It's more consistent with the level of deposition. So depending on the amount of velocity and the particle size, it's more of a direct proportion to which they will then be deposited with. Okay, so here are some questions. What I would like you to do now is pause the video and have a go at attempting these, and whenever you're ready, hit play to see the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. What I would like you to do now is move on to the next video whenever you've checked them. If you did get three out of three, congratulations. Uh, however, if you did not, just pause the video and rewind to see where you did go wrong. The next lesson we will be looking at is all about river energy, and until then, I will see you next time. Just be sure to check out www.revise level if you have any more questions and want any more information on AS Human Geography or Physical Geography. Until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye.